Hi, my name is Amy Rader and I'm the executive director here at the 1932 Criterion Theater. This wonderful theater is one of only two existing Art Deco theaters in the state of Maine. And it's been beautifully restored by a group of volunteers, volunteer board members, donors. They put a lot of heart and a lot of money into making this theater the best it possibly can be. We are thrilled to be able to serve not only this community and Mount Desert Island, but surrounding communities as well. One of the things that we're very proud about is the fact that we are able to bring nationally known and internationally known artists to our stage. But in addition to that, we feature local main musicians and artists, storytelling events, company meetings, community meetings, and community theater productions as well. We're kind of an all-purpose art center and community center here in Bar Harbor and on Mount Desert Island. We've had some amazing artists here on the Criterion stage. We've had David Crosby, Judy Collins, Mavis Staples, and some great homegrown acts too, like the Blake Rosso Band and Ghost of Paul Revere. We're excited to see what the future holds for us for programming, and your donations will help make that possible. We're pretty proud of the history of the Criterion as well. It was built in 1932 by George McKay, who was an infamous bootlegger in addition to being a pillar of the Bar Harbor community. We have found so many amazing artifacts about the Criterion. In fact, just yesterday, we found the original program from opening week at the Criterion. Advertisements from businesses that put the electricity in here that built the seats that made the curtain. And we found out from researching a lot of the acts that there have been some really amazing people on this stage. In fact, the, the Surrey Theater, which was in existence in the beginning of the 1900s, had performances here. One of the most famous actors to ever come out of the Surrey Theater was Henry Fonda. So it is very possible that Henry Fonda was on this stage. Like any not-for-profit performing arts organization, we can't just rely on ticket sales to keep the doors open. We count on the generosity of donors, sponsors, and our thriving membership community, both individuals and businesses. And the money that you give to the Criterion is put back into the building, into programming, into outreach, into discounted tickets for youth to come in and see performances such as the Bangor Symphony Orchestra's Acadia Brass Ensemble. We really want to be able to welcome all of the community into this space, and your donations partly subsidize that. We put a lot of money and a lot of thought into making our theater accessible to everyone. One of the ways that we've done that is by putting in an elevator, which was funded by a very generous donor last year. And this year, the next step in our ADA compliance is to install a listening assist system for folks who need a little help with hearing our events here on stage or our films but we also have in-seat closed captioning systems that patrons can check out for a particular movie. Beyond that though, in case our patrons are not comfortable with the in-seat closed captioning, we are making an effort to have at least one open caption showing of every film. If you want to be part of the magic here at the Criterion, you can. You can become a donor, a member, a sponsor, a business member. It's all up to you because we do rely on that funding to help us keep the doors open, help us keep the magic on stage.